Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonald. It is the 23rd of June today, and you're joining me again for GameSpot News. Also, it's Monday. Let's talk about video games. Phil Spencer has moseyed his way back in time several centuries in phrasing by telling Games Industry International that he tips his metaphorical hat to Sony's successful PS4 launch. The Xbox head stressed this does not spell peril for the Xbox One, explaining, maybe we're 10% of the way into this generation, so we're early, early days in how this will all play out. I tip my hat to them. He went on to say that this is a long-term competitive space, which is good for consumers. Spencer also reiterated that the removal of the Kinect for the system bundle does not mean that they're any less enthusiastic about the technology. Spencer said consumers love the device, they love the experience, they'll buy it. They'll either buy it at launch when they buy their console, or they'll be able to buy it after the 399 console. They'll pick it up and add it on later. And we'll continue to make sure that experience is great. When it comes to virtual reality though, Spencer said he isn't so sure that the technology will have mainstream appeal just yet. So it's probably unlikely that we'll see that sort of thing from Microsoft anytime in the near future. Spoiler haters beware, because The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt has had a bunch of story info and other bits and pieces is leaked onto the internet. We'll keep this segment spoiler free though, so not to worry. A series of screenshots featuring concept art and various design and development details hit Reddit, and according to gaming site Jewel Shockers, the documents reveal 64 monsters and 174 music tracks. CD Projekt Red have issued a statement about the leaked files, saying, a portion of the files contains information about the story of the game, so we strongly advise against accessing them, as this may heavily impact and spoil your future gaming experience. The documents were apparently obtained by somebody who hacked into a Google Drive belonging to one of the devs. Not a real good ad for Google Drive there. A bunch of people have noticed that Battlefield Hardline looks an awful lot like Battlefield 4. So the developer Visceral Games have come out to say why Hardline is more than just an expansion. Lead multiplayer designer Thad Sessa told PlayStation Lifestyle that it's the way in which they're using the Frostbite 3 engine which will make it feel brand new. Specifically, he said, we improved the vehicle physics and so on because in a cops and criminal setting, vehicle collisions are way more important than in Battlefield. He also said there's no recycling of assets from Battlefield 4 and they're going to have a wide range of maps, more weapons, gadgets and a slew of new game modes. Let me know if you reckon Hardline is going to pull something new out of the bag or if you're just expecting the same old Battlefield. That is it from me today and all the good newsy things, but I'll be back same time and place tomorrow, so I'll be sure to catch you then.